uh, thank you for coming to uh, our small lecture. So my name is Kobayashi. Uh, I came from uh, Sapporo, Japan. So I'm majoring uh, in sports biomechanics in the university. The title of my presentation is Invitation to Spain Japan uh, 2015. So this is a brief outline of my presentation. Now, first of all, I introduce a skin situation in Japan uh, located at 135 degrees of east longitude. Uh, from the viewpoint of the geographic features, the weather, and the snow. Uh, secondly, I introduce Japanese teaching method. The three way to lead a skier to basic power time. And finally, uh, I explain the theme, theme of Alpine on Snow workshop held on Thursday a day after tomorrow. First, I speak about long two. This slide shows trilateral ski area in the world. The first is and the European ski area. And the second is the American ski area and north and south. And the last is our far east and the Oceania ski area. <coughs> the standard time meridian of Japan is uh, 135 degree east longitude, uh, which passes on Akashi City, little bit west of Osaka. Yeah, this is Japan, summer time maybe. to the skiers in Argentina, the Japanese are just back of the globe. Time difference between Tokyo and Ushaya is just 12 hours. So we don't need a high function watch like Seto. <laughs> just the same hour. <laughs> okay. Jesus watch. <laughs> so also <laughs> Uh, we have held the Olympic uh, Winter Games uh, two times, uh, Sapporo in 1972 and Nagano in 1998. Uh, Sapporo is situated at 43 degrees north and uh, Nagano is situated at uh, about 36 degrees north. Uh, Tokyo is also just about 36 degrees. So like this, uh, Japan is situated uh, just a Mediterranean Sea, but we have much snow. So that, uh, when I was a boy, a Japanese TV advertisement said uh, Munich, Sapporo, Milwaukee. Yeah? Uh, you know, uh, this was made by a Japanese beer company, which means the same latitude uh, made a fine beer. 
So I ran and just, I must go to drink beer at Munich and be walking. <laughs> so you have just run now, you must go to drink beer at Sapporo. And please come to me. Okay. Drink no, okay. okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> no sentry. This figure shows the both horizontal and the vertical distribution of uh, vegetation in Japan. The left is the horizontal and the right is the vertical. So the from the bottom to top, the color indicates that vegetation changes uh, evergreen and the deciduous and sub-alpine zone and last the alpine zone. If you go to the Yakushima. So this shows the vertical distribution. So basically the way how snowfall the other sub-alpine zone in Japan. So the sub-alpine zone and struck it at sub, sub, in the 36 degree north, uh, Nagano or Tokyo. Is the above, above the uh, 1,600 meter. But in 43 degrees north, uh, like Sapporo, uh, we have the snow at uh, zero or sea level. So Japan is situated not so north latitude, but has much snow in winter. This is because of geographical characteristics. Uh, this shows the mechanics of the snowfall in Japan. The northwest monsoon, northwest monsoon from Siberia, Siberian continent, uh, and the country over the Japan Sea. Uh, this monsoon absorbs much humidity from the Japan Sea and go up to mountains, go up to mountains, and makes much snow uh, by go up to uh, snowfall by uh, cool. So you know the much snow in the west side of the Japan we have. And the uh, east side of Japan, uh, like Tokyo, uh, are driving uh, come down in the winter. So we have much snow, even in the sea level, uh, the west side of Japan. So that you know the world, Nordic and Alpine uh, come from geography in Europe. The Nordic country and the Alpine country. The history of the scheme shows the Nordic and Alpine. But in Japan, we have the same uh, Alpine and the Nordic district in all in Japan. 
So uh, we have both alpine and Nordic ski area. Uh, of course, skiers in the alpine ski area also play Nordic skiing. And uh, skiers in Nordic district also play alpine skiing, same as European and American skiers. <coughs> uh, this indicates the three major ski areas in Japan. The North Japan and Hokkaido. Hokkaido. That we have held in some uh, Winter Olympic Games in Sapporo. And uh, North East Japan. That we have held uh, Inter Ski Zaori. And Alpine Ski World Cup World Championship at City Quish. And here, the Japan Alps. So you can enjoy various types of mountains, uh, snow and lodgings, cuisine, as well as washoku, and the Japanese unique friendship and relationship. Thank you. And so, the uh, we must get ready for various ski teaching methods adapt to the circumstances of ski area, such as mountain shape. So they can also adapt to the majority of ski runners, like physical or mental characteristics. So this is uh, Japan uh, official ski method uh, 2014. Uh, this book is made from over 200 pages and a DVD. Here, the beginners start uh, from, from beginner to book ball, a snow plateau. And here, the basic parallel time. And after that, advanced parallel and short. In English. Now this shows uh, the second become a skier for for intermediate level runners, and here the advanced program. Today I don't say about the uh, advanced program. So. Uh, today I don't uh, speak about it, but uh, our advanced ski program is uh, made from the four, four skills of parallel time control. Four skills of time control and adaptation to the straw and snow and carving technique and last the lacing technique. And this is advanced. That we say that the complete ad adaptation of means uh, to ends. So, uh, this shows uh, three ways to lead a skier from program to basic per time. Yeah, today, uh, I uh, speak about this <coughs> But uh, today uh, I don't say about the same as uh, I talk about balance and acceleration. <coughs> so a proof moment to the basic priority time. Uh, we say the three methods A, B, C. A is uh, acceleration, the program. B is a balance, a program. And C is a control program.
that we have the two important keys in teaching skill. First is an adaptation to individuality and circumstances of the skill area. Secondly, we must make students enjoy even in their line stage. The very important subject of teaching method using Prukbogen for a beginner is how to lead a skier from Prukbogen to parallel term in a short time. So that each method uh, have both advantage and disadvantage to make up for and integrate each other and bring good results in run. Uh, inevitably, the ability of the school teachers and the development of teaching teacher training program uh, are requested. directly uh, from the proof board, but uh, with direct parallel method from here, they're using a parallel stance and a parallel motion, so that you see the direct means the undirect So the parallel ski method for beginner is uh, written by the Kunio Igaya in 1955 in Japan uh, with a uh, uh, very precise picture in uh, 1955. Uh, in 1955, the son of Mr. Kunio Igaya uh, compete uh, alpine strong race in Korotima Gambetsu and get a silver medal. And that is the uh, only Japanese Olympic medal. So this method is a real, real direct method uh, parallel to the beam. But uh, now the, we, our B method means uh, uh, semi-direct method. Uh, we use proof and only for beginners. So just after proof program, we use parallel method uh, in the early stage of learning scheme. So this shows the advantage and disadvantage of the method A and B. And uh, here, the uh, glide proof method. And up there, uh, this is the uh, direct uh, parallel method. The method, uh, motion of the method is uh, the B is uh, slide slip and rotation, ski rotation. And uh, contrary, the Glide proof method, the motion of the glide proof, uh, outside ski curve. Not so high level, but so basic. There are advantage. So, a ski is easy to acquire a parallel, uh, parallel ski hunter. And uh, also, the, uh, they can do short legs very easy. But uh, uh, glide proof advantage, it is easy to acquire a continuous uh, turn in the early stage of ski run. And uh, disadvantage uh, here. So the uh, disadvantage of the uh, glide proof method is to uh, skin steep slope and a short 
And also the disadvantage of the uh, B method is Kani and high speed long time. So we must uh, combine yeah, uh, other uh, skill teaching method uh, for uh, every skill. <laughs> so I show A method. They show uh, uh, A method. Grinding, using grinding proof stance and emphasize the uh, cutting of outside skin. And uh, this shows the uh, changing of the uh, level of the skin. So especially the change of the aging of the inside skin is very important. And the, uh, this is a uh, uh, basic parameter uh, made from the uh, method A. So the, it, it is very a good uh, outside stick up. The next B method. So this shows the uh, side stream. But our, our method in, uh, means uh, first uh, starting from the one time, only one time, and uh, traverse from traverse, and uh, we rotate the ski and sweep down and stopping. The stopping is the very uh, important because the stopping makes a skill that naturally uh, aging and the inclination to the uh, body, inclination to the inside of the body. So the first, uh, only one time to the upsides and from the, the direct run and next the finally the, we make the we make the turn skip and, and to the uh, fall line so it makes the uh, uh, time uh, natural. So this is a uh, 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 final uh, form of the uh, basic parameter of the uh, flow of the penis. So the uh, south and uh, uh, we have the whole snow workshop. So the, our Alpine uh, team uh, demonstrate and teach our uh, whole snow workshop. Uh, the theme is a two way to lead a skill to basic parent time. So that we introduce a two way to lead a skill from program to basic part. A is glide proof method, and B is direct part method. So the ABC is uh, instructed to the skill according to their ability, but also consolidated to a strong method as the Japanese method. 